Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 brutal animal attacks in horror movies. Oh, no, not the beast! Not the beast! Ah! Out of my eyes! For this list, we're looking at the most vicious attacks by creatures in scary movies. We won't include attacks from genetically modified dinosaurs or aliens because they could make up lists of their own. Since some attacks happen at crucial moments, beware of spoilers ahead. Which of these animals would you not want to tangle with in the wild? Let us know in the comments. Number 20. Cornered by Gators. Crawl. In Crawl, a young Florida woman named Haley and her father are besieged by hurricanes, massive flooding, and a swarm of bloodthirsty alligators. Their first encounter with the creatures occurs in the crawl space beneath the house. Not content with just eating Haley and being done with it, the alligator begins thrashing her against the brick foundation of the house. It is gross, claustrophobic, and looks really, really painful. Although Haley escapes, the gators don't forget that they have beef with her for the rest of the movie. While Crawl got decent reviews, it might give people one more reason to think twice about buying property in Florida. Number 19. Bat Attack – Graveyard Shift Stephen King's short story about a group of mill workers who discover a nest of mutant rats in the basement is just as disgusting as it sounds. But the movie's truly bizarre practical animal effects may be worth the price of admission alone. In one climactic scene, the mill's foreman is attacked by a giant combination half-rat, half-bat creature. We're going to hell. Together! The monstrous creature wraps its rubbery wings around his body and devours him. Although it's hard to tell what exactly happens because the whole scene is a bit of a mess, the sound effects give you a horrifying enough idea. <laughs> Number 18. Mauled by a Zombie Tiger – Army of the Dead There's a goddamn zombie tiger. That's crossing the line. When they first lay eyes on the zombie tiger, the ensemble of Zack Snyder's Las Vegas set zombie movie are in awe of the creature. The beast is missing an eye, and its white fur has turned a deathly gray. However, both factors only make it look cooler. At first, it looks like the zombie tiger will just be a cool set piece, but it eventually makes a fantastic entrance. When Garrett Dillahunt's character tries to escape, the tiger lies there in wait. <laughs> The guy gets clawed and tossed around like a ragdoll before his head becomes a cat snack. Although this is a zombie movie, there's no coming back from that. Number 17. Revenge of the Rats – Willard Willard focuses on a lonely social outcast who befriends a horde of rats. As you can imagine, things do not get more lighthearted from there. Willard learns how to command the rodents to sabotage his boss's house. But when that fails, he decides to take things a little bit further. Willard eventually unleashes the rats on his absolutely terrible boss while the guy is in an elevator. What's the matter, tiger? Afraid of a little blood? Ah! 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 Tear him up. The idea of being slowly gnawed on by a horde of terrible rodents is horrifying on its own. When the practical effects and acting are factored in, this scene gets tremendously brutal to rewatch. Number 16. Razorback Attack. Razorback. Although the Antipodes may be known for its vibrant and hostile collection of wildlife, this massive boar is extreme even by Australian standards. That animal stars in the unfairly forgotten creature feature that is 1984's Razorback. Its title monster absolutely exerts control over a herd of wild pigs in the area, but it can also handle things on its own. Eventually, the main character is chased to a canning factory. The Razorback's relentless pursuit is made all the more vicious by just how far it's willing to go to eat this poor guy. 
it takes finally being crushed in some machinery to stop its reign of terror. Number 15. Up a Tree – Cocaine Bear Bears are already pretty brutal creatures. Just ask any salmon. In Cocaine Bear, a group of people see how vicious the animal can be. Its real-life counterpart just wandered around the forest in a daze for a bit before dying due to illegal substance consumption. However, the bear in this movie is exceptionally savage. A wildlife activist named Peter finds this out when he becomes the stimulant-addled apex predator's new chew toy. Although Peter climbs into a tree for safety, the animal is drawn right to him because it wants a bit more. Oh, shit. <laughs> Is his death violent? Well, that depends. Does a bear climb a tree in the woods? I'd love to not remember that, but it kind of seems like the thing that stays with the man forever. Number 14. Bug Food – Mimic When Manny ventures into the New York subway system to find his grandson Chewy, he instead joins up with a group being attacked by a colony of genetically mutated, overgrown cockroaches. The man eventually finds the lost boy he's looking for, but before Chewie can exit the tunnels with his grandfather, tragedy strikes. Manny is violently impaled by one of the oversized cockroaches and dragged off screen. While we only hear most of the death, it's still incredibly effective. Audiences are forced to imagine how vicious the murder truly is. And the fact that it happens right before the boy's eyes made this slaying all the more upsetting. Number 13. Daniel's Dog Turns – Suspiria Dario Argento's nightmarish and colorful Suspiria is about a coven of witches who nest in a ballet academy in Germany. Things go wrong for their blind piano player Daniel when his dog bites the creepy nephew of one of the teachers. In a public square at night, the unseen forces of their witchcraft turn his seeing eye dog against him. Argento plays with what we can and can't see in the dark, but he also shows us enough to make us a little sick, too. The idea that this man's loyal dog could go bad and so savagely turn against him makes this death hit especially hard. Number 12. Don't Look Down – Frozen No, we're not talking about the wolf attack from the Disney movie. We can assure you this 2010 horror film of the same name is far more gut-churning. See, I think he, being eaten by a shark that'd be the worst way to go. The movie forces its protagonists to make a horrifying choice. Remain atop a ski lift and freeze to death, or risk jumping all the way down. When Dan takes a leap of faith and fractures his legs, wolves emerge from the forest. Don't you let her live! <laughs> While much of the carnage takes place off-screen, the painful screams and savage sound effects are enough to tell us that this is one dreadful sight. Suddenly, severe frostbite almost sounds like a pleasant alternative. Number 11. Graveyard Attack – The Omen The Omen follows a diplomat who has unknowingly adopted the Antichrist, as you do. Plenty of terrifying occurrences surround the main characters, but the worst event centers mainly on animals. While at a graveyard in rural Italy searching for clues, the diplomat and the photographer helping him to investigate are attacked by a pack of vicious dogs. The canines in the original are pretty terrifying, but the quickness with which these dogs attack in the remake is alarming. It's an unrelenting and bleak scene. Fortunately, both of them get away. But the narrow escape and brutal nature of the attack make it stand out. Number 10. Beware the Bear – Backcountry Whatever you do, don't watch this movie right before you go camping. Drawing inspiration from a true story, this survival film centers on a couple who are hounded by a black bear. Not content with just pilfering the couple's food, the bear draws closer to their tent, growling outside and eventually tearing its way in. 
The shaky cam creates a claustrophobic sensation as the bear slices Jen's arm and digs into Alex's leg. <laughs> Although Jen tries to fend it off with bear spray, the beast ultimately claws Alex into an unrecognizable bloody pulp. And you thought The Revenant was rough. Number 9. Bad to the Bone – Piranha 3D Thanks to it being both a tribute to and parody of the kinds of creature features on this list, Piranha 3D's most brutal moments are extremely over the top. In one scene, a mature filmmaker named Derek is forced to watch one of his actresses get completely devoured. Oh, but that's not all. Derek barely gets away from the swarming CGI piranhas. Unfortunately, there's a heavy cost. Derek loses a part of himself in the process that he will dearly miss. Even with the campy effects, it's not a pretty sight at all. And eventually, Derek succumbs to his wounds. Number 8. Black Phillips Rampage – The Witch Witchcraft, possession, the outdoors, colonialism… These are just some of the horrors contained within Robert Eggers' legendary film debut, The Witch. But its most iconic character might just be a satanic billy goat named Black Phillip. In the goat's most overtly villainous moment, he graphically gores the patriarch of the Frontier family in front of his last surviving offspring. Black Phillip also pushes the man into a tower of logs. Up until this moment, the goat's evil has been mostly unseen or just alluded to. But this scene makes it pretty explicit that he has serious issues with this family. Number 7. Shark Attack – The Reef The idea of being hunted down on land is terrifying enough. Being stalked at sea is even more unnerving. There's nowhere to hide and no way to fight back. That's just what the group of friends in the reef finds out when they decide to swim away from their capsized yacht. <laughs> Soon enough, a sinister fin slices through the water. When Matt swims away to retrieve a bodyboard, the great white shark torpedoes towards him faster than you can scream shark bait. Go, go! <laughs> My leg's gone! You gotta, oh, oh, you gotta go! Matt loses his legs before bleeding out in his girlfriend's arms. Like Luke, we can't bring ourselves to look away as the shark returns to devour the rest. <laughs> Number 6. Eaten by Tarantulas – The Beyond Paralysis is just the beginning of Martin Avery's problems when he falls off a library ladder. Out of the blue, a legion of tarantulas creeps towards him. With every step these eight-legged freaks take, it sounds as if bones are cracking and fingernails are running down a chalkboard. The tarantulas take their time, crawling up Martin's arms to his head. If the slow buildup isn't enough to put you in an uncomfortable state, the up-close sight of these spiders ripping into Martin's face certainly will. <laughs> the fact that Martin is powerless to move only makes the scene more horrifying. Number 5. Swallowed Whole – Anaconda If you've been watching this video and thought to yourself, you know, this list could use more graphic shots of actors being literally swallowed up by murderous animals. Well, your time has come. 1997's Anaconda has just the thing for you. John Voight and his ponytail are squeezed to death and eventually swallowed whole by the title monster. While the squeezing would be bad enough, we also get an up-close and personal view of the entire process. That's right, the movie has a bona fide camera right in the snake's throat. Thanks to the internal reptile video, we really feel the brutality of the attack. Number 4. Sikkim Cujo – Cujo Whenever a scene involves a canine in a car, we're usually concerned for the dog's well-being. In this scene, however, Cujo is the one we fear, and the people inside the automobile are the ones in peril. Cujo 
isn't merely a rabid St. Bernard. With his massive size, colossal fangs, and fur-dripping blood, the filmmakers went out of their way to make him the most threatening dog ever put to screen. When Donna exits her car, the malevolent mutt attacks. <laughs> With her young son screaming in the back, Donna does everything in her power to fend off the relentless creature. Her cuts and bruises make a strong case for why not all dogs go to heaven. Number 3. That's no sheepdog, an American werewolf in London. We will gladly take a whole pack of wolves over a werewolf any day. This scene masterfully balances horror and comedy as backpackers David and Jack navigate through the moors during a full moon. You think it's a dog? Oh shit, what is it? Yeah, it's a sheepdog or something. Although they tell themselves the howling in the distance is just a sheepdog, something else is going bump in the night. In a refreshing change of pace, our protagonist isn't especially brave or virtuous, but a coward who runs like hell. While David does eventually turn around, he's too late to save Jack and nearly meets the same fate. As the townsfolk gun the werewolf down, it becomes clear that this creature was equal parts man and beast. Number 2. Birdageddon, The Birds Alfred Hitchcock is widely considered the master of horror, and The Birds is arguably the closest he ever came to making a straight-up monster movie. The fact that Hitchcock was able to make an animal as unimposing as a bird scary is a true testament to his talent. Look! They're attacking again. This set piece starts off small as a couple of birds knock over a gas station attendant, but matters quickly escalate after a patron lights his cigar and turns Bodega Bay into an inferno. The winged menaces seize this opportunity to commence Birdageddon. Watching the madness unfold from within a phone booth, Melanie Daniels becomes the true caged bird. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Bus Attack Birdemic, Shock and Terror Shocking in its violence and innovative in its filmmaking techniques, the underrated masterpiece Birdemic Shock and Terror is absolutely not our number one pick. Number 1. Chrissy's Last Swim – Jaws It's ironic that the most brutal animal attack in the history of horror would be a scene where we never actually see the animal. Come on in the water! The true dread in this Steven Spielberg classic, though, lies in what we don't see. The production of Jaws seemed doomed when Spielberg couldn't get his mechanical shark to work. <laughs> this turned out to be a blessing in disguise, as Spielberg mostly substituted the shark with heart-pounding music, clever editing, and a camera that told the story from the monster's point of view. Nowhere are the film's brilliant filmmaking techniques better exemplified than in the opening scene where Chrissy Watkins' late-night skinny dip turns into a bloodbath. Neither the waters nor the cinema have felt safe ever since. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.